Hi Deepa. Why do you look so tensed? Hi Somia. Tomorrow we have immunology exam. You know right, I hate immunology. It is very difficult to remember so many antibodies and their functions. And I know, it is a compulsory question in the exam. Hey Deepa. I know you are a hard-working girl. But, be a smart learner too. Don't worry. Let us learn this immunology in a smart way. Just go through this video from my channel. Okay. I will watch. Here is an easy way to remember the types of antibodies and their functions through mnemonics. Remember this photo. Let us try with a simple sentence. And the sentence is, low glucose affects me daily evening. Here, G stands for IgG, Y stands for IgA, M stands for IgM, D stands for IgD, and E stands for IgE. The first word low, which is shown in green, represents the descending order of each antibody abundance in the body serum. That is, IgG is most abundant, and IgE is the least antibody in the serum. Easy right? Now, to remember the characteristics and functions, let us try in this way. Remember this picture. And the sentence is, babies cry first, before laughing. Let us have the antibody types first. Antibody concentration in the serum is one of the most important characteristic feature. As told already, IgG is the most abundant antibody followed by others, and, IgE is present in very low concentrations in the serum. Moving further, let us link the words in this sentence to antibody types. The first word babies indicate that, IgG can cross the placenta, and transfer from mother to fetus, and provide passive immunity. The term cry indicates that, IgA is prevalent in secretions such as tears, breast milk, and, saliva. The term first is used to indicate that, IgM is the first ever antibody produced against an infection. The term before is used just to remember the letter B. It is to represent that, IgD antibodies are present on the surface of B cells. Similarly, the term laughing is used to remember the letter L, and, it is to represent that, IgE antibodies are associated with hypersensitivity reactions, particularly allergy. So, these are all about antibody types and functions. Hope, this will be useful. Wow, this is very easy to remember. Thank you very much Somia. Now onwards, immunology will be my favorite subject. Very good. All the best for your exam Deepa.